All right, in this one, we're going to go over some more use substitution, and this is what I call the stuff left over problem. What do I mean by that? Let's see. So in this particular problem, you've got a well function where you've got 8y times root 5y plus 2. You've got a function within a function, so u substitution's definitely on the menu here. But let's see what happens when we let u equal to that innermost function. So I've got u equal to 5y plus 2. Ooh. Well, the derivative of that is equal to, that's with respect to y, so it's going to be 5 dy. Now, we don't have a 5 here, and you know I like to pull out that coefficient, right? Let's get rid of that. And we're going to make that 5 dy happen, but something else interesting is going on here. So first of all, we can make that 5 happen, right? We'll multiply by a 5. There's your 5 dy times 1 fifth, right? That balances it out. So now I'm left with 8 fifths, but look what else happens here. 5 dy is cool. That's du. But that y is still there, right? Nothing substituted that y out. We've got the square root of 5y plus 2, so that's just u, so that'd be the square root of u. Man, we've got an issue here, right? What do we do? We've got two variables. That's usually not a good sign. Except we could rewrite y in terms of u. Oh, check out what we're going to do here. This is pretty fancy, pretty nifty. I'm going to solve for y, and then we'll have everything in terms of u. So u minus 2 is equal to 5y, and then we divide both sides by 5. So you'll have u minus 2 over 5 equals y. Oh. By doing this, we can now directly sub y in for something completely in terms of u. Very nifty step there. So I've got that 8 fifths times, it barely looks like a 5, the y is equal to u minus 2 all over 5 times, I'm going to write this as u to the 1 half, du. Now everything's in terms of u. So if you're at a dead end and you're like, wait a second, I've got a variable here that's not u. you got to ask yourself, is there a way I can solve for that variable in terms of u? To figure out whether or not you can do that, look back at your u substitution translator, if you will, and see if it's doable. And I ask myself, can I solve for y here in terms of u? The answer is yes. Yes, I can. So we did that, and good things happen. So now I'm going to pull out this 1 fifth. There's a 1 fifth here. So I'll get 8 over 25. Again, I took this 1 fifth out, multiplied it by that fifth, and got 20 fifths. Now I've got u minus 2 times u to the 1 half. Look what's going to happen. It's not quite yet to integrate. You know, it's not quite yet ready, but I'm going to distribute to each part. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the manipulation here. 8 20 fifths times the indefinite integral, u to the 1 half times u to the first, you'd add exponents, is u to the 3 halves, minus 2u to the 1 half, so it's going to be minus 2u to the 1 half, and now what we have is a basic indefinite integral to rock. So let's take our time here, make sure that we do this thing accurately. I'm going to go all the way up here, 8 25ths just hanging out. Now, u to the 3 halves, we add one of the 3 halves, it's u to the 5 halves, multiplied by 2 fifths, not bad minus, the 2 is just chilling, times, we're going to get u to the 3 halves. Dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. Beautiful. All of that, of course, plus the constant of integration or integration. Now, from here, we're just going to sub everything back in, but be careful, you got this 8 25ths to contend with. So 8 25ths times, and you'll have 2 fifths, u is 5y plus 2. All right, we'll deal. We'll deal, we'll deal. Leave it in the fractional exponent though, right? Five halves. Minus, now we'll have 8 25ths. Again, we're distributing that to each times this is 2 times 2 is 4 thirds. We'll simplify shortly. Yes, we will. Times 5y plus 2, all raised to the 3 halves plus c. So almost done here. 8 times 2 is 16 over 125. 5 times 25 times 5y plus 2, all that to the 5 halves. Minus, this is 32 over 75. Of course, why, why not have 32 75ths, right? Everybody's favorite fraction. Sure. 5y plus 2, all to the 3 halves plus c. And that heinous answer is it. Now, if you check your answer, it's not going to be perfectly this back again, unfortunately, because we've done so much manipulation. Um, what it will give you back is it will get you back to here, right? So it'll get you back to that part right there, which you could trace back to here if you really wanted to. 
So these kinds of problems, just be careful with them. Not always worth checking though from end to finish or end to start. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.